Hi, welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Chris Costa. And I'm Joanne Laflam. Hi, Joanne. Hey, Chris. So what should we cover today? Uh, well, we had a lot of questions lately from our customers about what that import button is in shipping and exactly mm -hmm. how that works. Can we take a look at that? Absolutely. Okay. Um, the import button existed previously uh, to handle custom uh, import you know, abilities to take a spreadsheet and import right to a shipping record. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we've now added an ability to do that as a standardized file. Okay. So we now have created a standard executable uh, that, we, that we can send you, um, and it will launch from that import button. And it basically looks at a CSV file mm -hmm. and will take a shipping distribution list and allow you to import that right to a... Uh, right to a shipping record related to a specific job. Okay. Okay. Can we take a look at that? Sure. Okay. I have a file right here on the desktop. Uh, I'm going to open this up in Notepad just so it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, the file structure here, I'll make this a little bit wider. Okay, so right across the top you can see the fields that are included in the file. It's basically what you would expect, address type information. Uh, but if you scroll all the way out towards the end, you know, you'll see the different fields and information that's available in this sample file. And it's really a sample file structure. Okay. And if you can get a, a customer of yours to match this file and can send it to you, you know, it, their distribution list in this format, then it can be easily imported uh, right into the database. Okay. Okay. Can I take you a look at how it actually imports? Absolutely. Okay, so I'll go right to a, a shipping record. Actually, before I do this, uh, let me make sure I've got a nice, clean uh, new job. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this one real quick. Uh, we'll make job number 4084. And I'll go right into shipping from here. Okay, and I can hit the import button. Okay, now even though, and this, I'm glad I did it this way, because even though I'm on, notice I'm on job 4084. Yep. I still need to key in the job number here. Okay, so okay. I can be on any job or even no job in shipping and be able to import exactly. into a particular job. Exactly, okay. right, right. So you still want to key in job 4084 here. Uh, the file to import is just going to browse your network for where the executable is sitting. Or actually, I'm sorry, that's the, the CS, where the CSV file is sitting. Okay. Um, and then you're just going to hit import. Okay. And another good point, if you are on the job record, uh, you'll just have to reload the job in order to get the shipments to come in. Okay, perfect. Now okay. I noticed that it's it's brought in shipments, but it also brought in a package. It will bring in package. Okay. Um, it's basically designed to bring in one shipment, one package. Okay. Per so record. Per record. Okay. So each record in the CSV file is going to equate to a single shipment. Okay. And by extension, a single package. All right. Okay. Now, what if um, I get a file from my customer and the field names aren't quite in the same order? Mm -hmm. um, it, it, you know, it just has some differences than what your standard is. What can I do? Right. Uh, well, option A is to see if they can massage the format themselves. Okay. Uh, to see if they can get it in this particular file structure. Um, if they can't, option B would be to contact us, and you could contract that contract enterprise um, to, you know, rework the executable specifically for you to handle that specific okay. uh, file format. Now, what if um, my customers? sends me a file and they want to be able to import or I want to be able to import um, a, multiple packages mm -hmm. uh, for a shipment. That again would have to be done as a you know as a contracted you know additional work. Right okay. now th this particular format really works with one shipment one package. Okay. So if it, if it needs to be multiple packages we have to do that as a as a custom. Okay. Custom project. Now do I have to run it from shipping or is there nope. another option? Nope. Absolutely not. Um, if we close out of here, okay, you just have to run it from obviously somewhere that can connect to enterprise. It's just an, an, an executable. I have it sitting right on my desktop. If I open it up, okay, you're going to get the exact same window. You'll key in the job number and the file to import. Okay, so whether you're running it off to the side, in shipping, okay. you know, on like you said, on a job record or not on a job record, okay, you're still going to record. Uh, what job number it needs and what file okay, it's going to pull. Okay. All right. Thank Makes you. sense. Well, this was another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Chris Costa. And I'm Joanne Laflamme. Thank you, and please look forward to more to come.